one day, Basil takes his dog Pepper for a walk at the marketplace. Basil needs to buy a new collar for Pepper. While Basil is not paying attention, Pepper wanders off. He finds an enchanting collar on the ground. The Imperial servant assumes Pepper is one of the princess's many pets and lifts him into the carriage. When Basil sees what's happening, it's already too late. He is not allowed to use the Imperial Lane because of the strict traffic rules. This is in fact exactly how wireless communication works today. Mobile devices are only allowed to use certain frequencies which are getting crowded. New music and video services on the internet require far more bandwidth than is available for the current networks. With cognitive radio technology, we can use all available frequencies, even those dedicated to TV or satellites. The intelligent devices negotiate in order to use the whole radio spectrum in the most efficient way. This way, we can multiply the current network speeds. Basil arrives at the town gates. But to enter the town, he has to fill in a stack of forms. He has no time for this kind of nonsense. But hey, what's that guy doing there? He's filling out all the forms just by the push of a button. With cognitive radio, you can easily control and verify your identity, both online and offline, in one simple step. For instance, when you move, you could redirect your mail, subscribe to electricity, gas and water, enroll your children at a school, and even register to vote, all at the same time. Although your device is capable of connecting with any institution, you would still be in charge of the information you choose to share. Basil comes across a billboard advertising an event at the arena. He can't understand the language, but the radio-enabled billboard sends his handset the information he needs, which he then shares with his friends. By the word radio, we mean any kind of wireless communication. At the moment, radios can communicate only with other radios of the same kind. Cognitive radios could understand the language of any radio. This, combined with new simple radios embedded in any object, would allow interaction between any physical objects. This could also provide solutions for communication between people of different languages and cultures. At the arena, Basil sees Pepper in the Imperial box with the princess. Basil hears somebody coming. Suddenly, Basil has become a part of the main event. He can't even lift his weapon. Running for his life, Basil pushes the panic button on his device. At a concert, a football game or any big event with tens of thousands of people, the local network may get overloaded. With current spectrum usage limitations, the provided capacity just isn't enough for all the users. Cognitive radio can use all available frequencies and connectivity methods. It can quickly adapt to the unusual situation and ensure proper operation of the networks. The devices connect not only through the network cells, but also by forming spontaneous networks. This way, messages, phone calls and even real-time video streams can be transmitted by many more users. One of Basil's friends finds information about the lion. This gives him an idea, and he tells everyone about his plan. A flashlight distracts the lion from the chase. Basil suddenly realizes this may be his opportunity. Success! The undefeated lion is caught. Basil has done the impossible. Basil is escorted to the winner's lounge to wait for the princess. Here she is, her imperial majesty. Oh dear. This won't go well with the princess.